Greetings fellow shooters, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Curveballs, episode 32, Bullets Hurt. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go check out the survivor activity nearby though, because uh, we're pretty full up community wise. So you. the benefit of doing this. that yeah, is I can radio for them to deliver me a junker car. And the junker car is really handy if you want to go fetch a different vehicle. So, like, you call in a junker car at your base, you take that junker car out to a better car. Uh-oh. I didn't realize there was hostile faction. And then you can drive that better car back home. All right, the bloaters are over. So there's no active curveballs. Let's go bring this stuff back. Also, I became a citizen. My hero bonus is plus four morale. Not bad. And then I have a uh, cardio for marathon or backpacking. You guys pick. You like that little boop? <laughs> Me too. I barely hit it. If I take out the nearest plague heart, I should clear up. I love how when um. I'm drinking tea. The ferals so kindly disperse so I don't hit them with the front of my car. Very thoughtful of them to uh, avoid body damage. I'll tip them with bullets. Hey, Crimson. Drinks on you? My pleasure. Why did it do that? Uh, it's my partner anniversary. It's a thing that Twitch is doing, I think, starting this year, where the anniversary of your affiliate agreement or partner agreement can be celebrated. Uh, why? I think people traditionally celebrated anyway, so like they just wanted to make it official, if you were wondering the why part. Uh-oh. Stinky zombies. I don't know what kind of curveball that is, but... Sounds... fishy. <laughs> Cesspit zombies. Oh, good. So the food in our community is a little low. Ah, a small piece of cake for the anniversary? I actually had sweet potato pie. Uh, tonight, so I, I appreciate the the little extra. How the wrenches turn out? They're all alive. They're all good. Turned out well. And hey, Kerr here. Know. I'm back. Kerr needs to sleep. Uh, so it looks like Marathon by one point. Thanks for voting. But his, uh, leadership style being a, um, or, uh, Plus four morale is kind of nice. Okay. Well, well you could keep that M4. If anyone over there is listening, we could use some. A load of gas kills nearby zombies. Oh no, that's not it. Uh, zombies usually stink pretty bad, but this is something else. Uh, it's not active yet. I don't know what that is. The homesteaders are asking for building materials. And there's also a survivor activity up that way. Um, I will do that in just a second. First, let's call in a trader. I want a parts trader. I'm hoping to get a salvage furnace. So I'll call in a parts trader. A salvage furnace would really help with the whole parts that we don't have. So, zombie kills give influence and drains stamina. That's what the stinky zombies are. 
All right. Interesting. That's pretty heavy. Now I'm lucky to have you guys. I mean it. Oh, everyone's cheerful. Oh, you came all the way into the base, Joe. Let's help each other out. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So. What enclave are you from? No, stop talking to me. The Hucksters? Isn't that the enclave I just wiped out for the medicine? Let's help each other out. I think okay. it started with an age. So. so they do have a salvage furnace. That's exactly what I was looking for. My now. Alright, what else do you have? A heavy vehicle upgrade kit. Uh, I'll buy your toolkit. Buy your parts. Solar generator. Uh, we don't need that. CNC mill, we don't need. I'll buy more parts. That's it. We already have an auto mechanics, so I don't need to buy upgrade kits. Damn nightmare. What games do I play these days? Uh, most of my free time has been playing just like Warhammer Darktide as a way to like blow off steam. So we have uh, a bit of a food problem. We're minus eight a day. Um, noted. So let's go ahead and bring materials to Nando and check out the survivor activity. And I'll try to radiate the survivor so that it doesn't time out. Uh, how do you? Stay put. I'm heading your way. Okay, thanks. All right, switch into Arnold, who is our other newbie, to try to figure out what his leader bonus is. But I like Curse. Curse is good. Oh, that sucks. I don't have a spare force. Uh, eight slot. Mm, oh well. We'll go light. Traveling light. That works for me. And I'm totally not bringing building materials right now, so maybe I have to do that. Checking. So this is fuel, food, and food. Got it. No building materials. What are the best non-heavy weapons for general fighting? Uh, you know, I you, you'd think I'd know, but like it entirely depends. There's so many variables for like how that depends that I don't even really have an answer for you. Home starts falling apart. Embarrassingly. Which do I prefer? Well, the red talon weapons are definitely OP a bit. So they are a strong choice. Um Red Tail and everything is, like, kind of overpowered in this game. Red Tail and, yeah, just everything Red Tail and is ridiculously strong. Um, I think I like just, like, baseball bats, that kind of thing. You know, lighter weapons that have high durability. The damage itself doesn't even matter all that much to me. Um, more the durability so it doesn't break constantly. Because it becomes really unaffordable to, like, constantly repair uh, broken weapons. Swordplay is really good, especially Sweep the Legs ability. If you have a good blade, uh, you can cut the legs off of a whole lot of zombies at once and make it very easy to dispatch zombies as a result. The Grand Slam Powerhouse is also really, really strong, too. Amigo, you know your way around by now. We're 
good. Thanks. Hasta la vista. Hey, how's it going? You interested in trading? Sounds like a plan. Oh, they have food. And repair kit. Because the car was hissing in a way that means it's going to break soon. Even though it looks fine, it really isn't. Alright, there was a survivor around here. Um, after this, I could work on getting, building materials for, um, the base, because we still have the field hospital and uh, hydroponics to build, or, um, go kill smelly zombies. <laughs> I'll leave it up to you. Oh, that pole shouldn't be up there, should it? Fixed. Get inside before you attract Zed. Is this going to be a scent block event? Maybe. Don't rob me. Newcomers killed my friend. I can't take down them myself. If we let any of sure. Them after this, we're just asking for more trouble. I will help you kill some people and take your word that they're bad people. Oh, good. All right, lead the way. Uh, first up is going to be my cell phone tower, so that I can actually switch my weapon to something that actually can kill people. Now that I'm unarmed, she's going to try to kill me. I'm kidding. Right. I got something that goes pew pew, but it's quiet. Now something that goes pew pew that is strong. It's like a World War II style bar. All right. That works for me. And, uh... Something stinky. I'll just take one. But I'll take one fuel bomb, too. All right, now I am strapped. And this is that uh, enclave down here that I was worried about anyway. So two birds, one stone. I totally... Okay, she's in the front seat now. I was going to say, I totally would not trust someone that got in behind the driver's seat. So here, go kill people for me, and I'm going to sit right behind you while you drive there. Damn. I'm getting really fucking sick of sharing space with dumbasses. You see? You see the bullshit I have to deal with? Okay, cool. Everyone's cheery and fighting with one another. It's like, uh, family at Thanksgiving time. We also still have two more active hearts that I probably should deal with at some point. Um, I just drove by one of them. Can you close your door? Stop trying to hit zombies with the door. The car's more important than you killing a zombie. Finally.
Are they cops? They're in like a police building. Somebody just hitched a ride. All right. Hunting the most dangerous game. I don't like climbing fences because if they open fire on me, it's very hard to not, like, it's hard to get over the fence. What are they doing? Connie, what are they Somebody doing? Somebody take care of some infestations or we're toast. Odo? Ow. Connie, it would be great if you, like, actually aimed better. Ow. See, this is why they're dangerous. Because they... I can't even get up. Now don't beat me to death. That they are. Ow. Ah, shit, a feral. I gotta catch my brain. A feral? A feral? That's not a feral. Alright, ferals, you can eat them. Connie, get over here. Connie, 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 Connie. Connie. Doing it wrong. Let's just watch him get eaten by zombies. I much prefer that. Yep, rip him up. Rip him up. And he's dead. Well, that was messy. Also, a perfect example of why uh, enemy humans are so dangerous. Because uh, I got one-tapped twice. Which is disgusting. But, like, that's what how strong player guns are on lethal. They're, well, lethal. <laughs> Thank you. No, thank you. Ooh, case of MREs. Yeah, it was close. That's why I used the new guy. <laughs> Initiation hazing. No, they were hitting me with oil. 357 lever action. Yeah, I I feel that. Makes sense why I, I uh, hit the dirt hard. The bloater grenade is amazing, yes. Anyone that breathes that stuff in is just dead, for the most part. Alright, let's go home. And it looks like I am going to be flipping the coin about what I do next. Oh, there is a siege site next to next to home. That's exciting. Bye, Connie. It was a pleasure doing your murders for you. Stranger on a train style. do okay all right when i whoop oh, okay whoa whoa oh logan logan 
<laughs> I'm gonna go with I planned that. <laughs> uh, so I misclicked something on my streaming software, and like I had to, I opened a sub menu that I needed to close, and then as soon as soon as I tab back into the game, that happened. That was, uh, that was fun. Yeah, there's a lot of infestation hordes on this road coming to, like, try to murder me, I guess. And with my driving skills, it's only a matter of time until, uh, they succeed. You know, normally I would like run them over. Well, Alright, Juggernaut, you wanna mess? Alright, come on, Juggy. I'll make time in my busy schedule for you. Hey, everybody! Big Fat Ugly's here! Come on! Are you broken? Yeah. He's not moving. So, like, now would be a great time for you to go shoot at him, I guess. Oh, there you go. Get him! Get him! Get him with your infinite bullets. I do hear a barrel. Oh, metabolics. And he's out of a skull. Kill that screamer. Well, we sure have firepower here. I'm just standing here. I, I'm not even playing. They're just making solids into liquids. It's great. I fully endorse this slaughter. <laughs> Come on, get moving. Oh, there we go. Oh wait, you're the parts trader. You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. She didn't seem ready. Sound ready. She was like, uh huh. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty normal that we have juggernauts at her doorstep. Don't worry about it, lady. You're in safe hands. Maybe. All right. Uh, hero style. More morale. Wow. We just have morale, 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 morale. Everyone, everyone gives morale. I like it. Um, what does Marcus want to do? Why is he lit up? Infestation situation. Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, Marcus, how about we do that? I'm going to clear out an infestation. If we want to survive, we can't let the zombies take over our town. So the plan is to try to um, amass some building materials so that I can afford the lounge upgrade. So the lounge upgrade is 35 building materials. That's quite a lot. And then also the uh, field hospital, which is another 25, I think. Um, so yeah, we're going to need a lot of building materials, which is fine. But we'll have to put some work in to be able to start affording that. And that's the goal. So, get holding materials and influence for trade. Can I even store that much? Yeah, because I can always stick it in the trunk of the Jeep. Um, so, you know, as long as you have trunk space, you kind of have as much as you want. 
The other thing is like, now that we have the salvage furnace, I am getting mega salvage off of these parts. So much material. I'm just melting down most of it, so I don't need too much. I'll just keep a few. I don't want that screamer blowing chunks on me. All right, so clearing out an infestation. Let's try to do that quietly, if it's possible to do that quietly. Um, but I do want some fuel bombs for it. Fuel bombs are fun. There is a whole bunch of like siege sites right here in my own front yard. Well, if they're going to be lazy and out in the open, I don't mind if I do. Yakety yakety yak. What were you saying? I didn't hear that over your squishy body. Also, the one I just hit looked like um, a plague survivor. It did not look like a regular plague zombie because it was wearing clothing. Which is interesting. That one right there that I just drove by. I wonder if she's lootable. No, she doesn't have loot. She really did look like a plague zombie. Maybe I was wrong about the her eye color. It's hard to tell now. There's not much left of her. Her eyes, that is. All right, so we want to clear out a few infestations. That's what Marcus wants to do. That sounds reasonable. Uh, there are bloaters in this swarm, so I gotta be careful running them over. I'm also somewhat tempted to, like, turn on the landmines at New Hope Church. Uh, so that things can't drive or walk past New Hope Church. I think that's pretty reasonable, because I, I don't want to have to kill things. Oh! Oh, no, no, it, it has landmines. All right, so anything walking up the street here will blow up. So this horde should blow up any minute now. Turns out I ain't quite dead yet. Surprise, surprise. You know, like anyone in the base could be. What is even going on over there? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? I think that's the parts trader who's just deciding to tank zombies to the base. I got you. You might want to not be a pacifist in the zombie apocalypse, but like. You'll live your true life, whatever. Or die your true life. Alright, I want to destroy infestation. Uh, let's destroy this one. The siege site. Because I'm not super... Oh, no, I have to destroy a specific one. Okay, that's fine. There is 
Yes. All right, I call in a materials trader because we're going to have plenty of influence to spend. And they hang around for half an hour, so I'm just getting the cooldown started. So that, uh, that siege infestation horde, rather, um, died. It, uh, it worked. The mines, that is. Oh, snap! That place is crazy infested. So... To clear infestations, you don't even really need to kill everything, just the just the screamer. Sounds like they're hugging this door though. Here, I'll uh I haven't used Fire in the hole. fireworks for quite some time, so. Let's lure them to the door. Yeah, I pulled a lot of weight there. I just went boop. Easy peasy. Work smarter, not harder. Exactly. Oh, uh, they do drop loot in there. I just didn't care. I could have looted it. Alright, uh, where is the materials dude? I wish they would just stand right at the stockpile. That would be nice. You looking to trade? Sounds like a plan. Did we? Forgive me, I don't remember. Did we decide what extra skills we were gonna give Kerr and Arnold? Cause like, I really don't remember if that's something that we had uh, pulled on. I got some stuff to trade. How about it? Yeah, that sounds about right. No, well, no, I mean the, the fifth skills, the extra skills. Sounds like a plan. Like auto mechanics or, you know, like I think. I think we thought that uh, we needed a doctor. But I don't think that that's going to even be applicable once we have the uh, field hospital. I still, with that said, think that having someone with knowledge of medicine would be helpful. But I don't remember the other ones. Alright, I am just looking to sell some stuff. Fortunately, we don't have a lot of good stuff to sell. Yeah, Doctor was one, and we have another empty slot. Why sell the eight? Uh, the eight is heavy. This is a 12-pound bag, like whereas the other eights that I use are an 8-pound bag, so it's just, like, a lot more encumbrance, um, which is why I sell the heavy eights, because not all eights are the same. The ones that look like hiking bags are, um, eight, are 8 pounds or 7.5 pounds, and... The encumbrance matters kind of a lot when you're sprinting and, you know, all stamina actions. So we're only um, five building materials away from having the uh, the field hospital. All we need to do is to demote a current leader and promote a sheriff, and then we can build it. But I think I probably want to do it all in one run. So that means getting the 35 for the lounge as well. Um... So let's go radio in for materials. 
And then there was also a heart, this heart, that had building materials in it. And I'm sure there's other spots around that have, like, building materials. I am... I, uh... Can't click that? Uh... Save for reload. One in doubt. I clicked it the first time, I was like, did I misclick? No, I didn't misclick. It's a glitch, good to know. Yoda, what are you doing? <laughs> he was like burrowing. Hello, Multiple radio really commands locked, now available. Okay, they, it was some sort of bug. Trouble bluing, bluing, <laughs> trouble brewing, uh, rescue live, stranger who called for help, uh, sorry, I'm only doing that if it's, uh, near the materials. Uh, someone hop on the radio and call around for some scavenging spots. We've got people on it. So let's, um, because I'm scavenging, let's go ahead and get an eight slot it's bag. Oh, wow, he has the really good 8-slot bag, too. He has the lightweight one. Yoink! It's the army bag. I picked the right person. So this is 7.5 pounds, and the other bag was 12 pounds. It's... In a pinch, I'll wear the heavy one, but if I don't have to, I, I avoid it. That happens on Xbox a lot. That's good to know. This is making six food a day. And then our food outpost. So we have ten food. We're in the hole. We definitely need that. Um, we definitely need the hydroponics up and running sooner than later. Or I'm going to have to constantly be buying food, which gets expensive. One of the questions I have for you guys is like, um... After scaving materials, should I clear active hearts? Alternatively, what I could do is I could just keep scavenging materials uh, to try to get the, the buildings built sooner. Because I am sure there's materials out there that I've just not yet found. Through search. Or alternatively, uh, trading with neighbors, because it's possible that my neighbors have building materials as well. Like, in fact, I'm going to stop here and go in that uh, building there, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be building materials in there. One bag. Okay. Still pretty good. And circuitry. Yeah. I'm never going to turn down circuitry. Circuitry allows me to blow up hearts real good, like. Probably in the shed. If I was a betting man. And no more door. This looks like a waste of time. No, it's one of these buildings has it. Wow, there's a lot of hordes heading our way, huh? Oh, they're both dead. Because of the landmines I have active. I'm actually su 
surprised that the landmine cost is as low as it is. Because it doesn't cost a lot of bullets or parts, and it does a lot of work. Everyone's gonna be happy to port again. Heading home. Uh, that zombie is invisible. I could not keep this up. Thank you for tuning in to State of Decay 2 Lethal Curveballs, which originally streamed live on Twitch November 22nd and November 23rd. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers.